In today's video, I am gonna be showing you how I edit my videos, which will be a really great start for any beginners or beginner to advanced type level on iMovie. Now, anyone who has any kind of Apple product like iPhone, iPad, or a MacBook will be able to edit your videos completely free on iMovie. Let's get creative. First things you wanna do is have your video on your desktop ready to be imported into iMovie. And then you wanna click on the iMovie app and let it open. And then click on create new. You wanna do create new movie because we're not making a trailer. And then click the arrow up here so that you can get your video loaded into movie. So see how I have the desktop here then I'm gonna select on the video that I have and click import. Now to get the video down here to work on it, you're just gonna click on it and drag down and you can see the entire video is down here. Everything is short right here. You can click the levels over on the right hand side next to where it says settings and you can expand it, expand it, all the way until the highest level of expansion. And usually when I'm editing, I keep it at the highest level, unless I'm just trying to do a quick look and I'll make it short, but we'll go through that together. Now, when I upload a video, the very first thing that I do is always click on it, and then I go over here and I adjust the color. My lighting is just a little bit off, so I always adjust mine to make it a little bit brighter. So you can adjust blue here. This is what happens if I go towards the yellow, but I'm gonna keep it at the blue. And then here you can adjust brightness if you wanted to in all different areas. You can just play around with this level of lighting until you find the one that you want. I'm actually gonna click reset so it goes back to the beginning. And then I'm gonna adjust it to where I want it, which I usually just move mine down a little bit like that. Now, that takes care of one of the sections that is up here. We are gonna be going through several of them today. Then the next thing I like to do after I have my color together is hit it to the second level of expanse and then just kind of skim along without hitting anything. I'm just dragging without clicking. This is usually where I take a screenshot for my thumbnail. So what I'll do is click that section so it doesn't move, hit shift command and four so that it turns into screenshot mode, and then I will drag and clip. And that's how I do my screenshots for my thumbnails. Then what I wanna do is cut off all of this excess time. Like see, there's all this time where I was getting the lights and the camera set up, and then you know, doing what I needed to do to come and sit down. And so right here, before I start the video, I'm gonna click, and then you're gonna double click, and when you double click, it'll pull up this list of options. So what I wanna do is hit split, and that gets rid of all the dead space. You can see here, it was about two minutes of dead space, and you wanna get rid of that dead space. They don't wanna watch nothing, right? You know, we wanna get rid of that. So hit the delete and it's gone. I also typically flip at the end, like right after I'm saying goodbye. I split that and get rid of this other basically two minutes of footage of me packing up the box again. Back to the beginning. If you don't wanna just split and you want to still make this section shorter, you can click here and hold. And when you hold it, it'll allow you to drag it. That's another way to cut off sections. Before we get into actually editing more of this, I'm gonna show you the other parts of what I do, which I actually go ahead and upload my intro for my review, and then I have all of this stuff saved in a folder on my desktop. So I just upload all of that. It'll have my beginning music, my ending music, my end screen card, and my intro. So with my intro, I drag it over here. This is the Sunday Funday intro. I don't need it this time, so I'm gonna delete it. And then this is my end card, which is the end of the video. And you can see here, because it's like a picture, it automatically does this, like it automatically moves, see? That's called the Ken Burns effect. And anytime you add a photo or something like this, it will automatically do Ken Burns. No matter what, I don't know how to make it stop. All you have to do is click up here at this square and see how it says Ken Burns. You wanna hit either crop to fill or fit. 
Usually they're about the same thing, but when you crop to fill, you can adjust if you want to. Of course, I'm just gonna have mine be the standard size. And then what I need to do is I need to make this longer because the end screen time, whenever you do an end screen at the end of YouTube, the smallest amount is five seconds. So what I'm gonna do is drag, but this time instead of dragging in to cut it, I'm gonna drag to add it. So it's like you're making it longer. And now we have some other stuff that we gotta add in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand it to about that level. So you can see my intro plus the beginning. And what I like to do is I increase the volume over here because I had felt that like 100 wasn't good enough for my intro. All right, you see these music notes here? This is where I'm gonna put my background music. So I'm gonna drag this sound all the way down here. I don't want this to repeat the same part of the sound once I get to me talking. So what I'm gonna do is head on over here, click on the audio. You see how it highlights in yellow? That means that you've clicked on it. Then double click on it and hit split and then I can delete the front part of the audio. I'm gonna click the audio again, click and hold so that I can move it over so that it lines up right underneath where the start of my video is. Now, you can see all of the like volume, like how loud it is. I'm actually going to adjust it from 100 all the way down to 4%. I don't want it any louder than that. When I first started adding music to my videos like forever ago, I was having it be at like 20% volume. Now I've like reduced it to 4% and even throughout the video, it'll be 3% and a lot of times I just won't even have it anymore. I will still have it in cases where there's like no sound, where I don't have any audio going on and I want something playing in the background, but I don't need it all the time anymore. So this is what it will sound like. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome. See, I want that boom, boom, boom to hit whenever I said hey. One thing I also have to do is change this because my channel used to be called Laura Wooten Unboxings and I actually changed it. It is now Laura Wooten Reviews so that I could do reviews of other things that were not just subscription boxes. It's actually an attempt to kind of un-niche myself because I've niched myself down too much and I want to broaden the type of videos that I do to try and reach more people. If you guys are interested in a video about niches and like whether or not it is good to niche down, let me know and that could be one that I could do as well. But now when I play it through, I don't even think I talked about that when I was doing it. Okay, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I'm still new with this tutorial stuff, but yes, all I did was click here and drag it down and I had it line up. Now it will not say Laura Wooten Unboxings anymore. It'll say Laura Wooten Reviews. Hey everyone. Okay, and that's how that change is made. Now, I'm gonna click on top of the Laura Wooten Reviews box. Anytime you drag and drop a picture or a video or anything on top of your other layer, it will automatically put it as a cutaway, okay? There are other options, so you could change it if you wanted it to be a green and blue screen, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you in a little bit. Split screen, which is something I do a lot with my pictures and then there's picture in a picture. I am gonna demonstrate all of those ways for you today. All right, now the next step that I do is have it expand all the way out, and then here's where I'll actually start listening and I'll start cutting out things that need to be cut out, whether I misspoke, whether I was stuttering, you know, those kinds of things. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another magical collection unboxing from Lit Joy. And then I usually cut out a lot of my breaths, guys. I just, I, I don't know what it is, but I can't stand the sound of my own breath. But also because I want to cut down the video as much as I can to make the video as short as I can. That way it's not too terribly long for you guys. One thing that I do where I use the green screen is coming up is Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another, welcome to another. Right here where it said welcome. So you see what I did there? I let it play and then once I heard the part that I wanted to, I clicked the area so that it would stop. So let's do that again. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome. And then a click right there. 
and you can listen to it again. Welcome to another Mac. Welcome to, welcome to, welcome to, a to make sure that you have it in the right spot. And usually when I'm welcoming the type of video, I will drag my subscribe button. This I created in Canva. I did a green screen so that it can do the animated part. So as I mentioned before, every time you drag something on top of your video, it'll automatically go to cutaway. So what I have to do is come up here, click and change it to green and blue screen. It's as easy as that. See how it removed all of the green. It's no longer there. And welcome to another magical collection unboxing from LitJoy. I'm very excited about this theme because as you see on the box, it is all about the sweet treats that you get on the Hogwarts Express or maybe just sweet treats in general in the wizarding world. All right, I am gonna cut right here where I took a breath before Wizarding World so that way it plays more seamlessly. Treats in general in the Wizarding World. And then I'm gonna split right here. Remember that when you're doing a split, you wanna click to make sure that this section is highlighted in yellow. Then you double click and hit split. I wanna go back because I like to add in my social media stuff right here. So I click and drag it down. Again, it goes instantly to cutaway, change it to green screen, and now it'll play properly. I'm very excited about this theme because as you see on the box, it is all about the sweet treats that you get on the Hogwarts Express, or maybe just sweet treats in general in the wizarding world. Right here is a space that I'm gonna cut out. Now, I usually will delete this, but I'm gonna show you some other things that you could do in case you needed to know. So you can double click anywhere, detach audio. What that will do will take away your audio and you can actually delete that audio. And I'm gonna delete this section anyways because I don't need it. What I'm gonna show you right here is how to do the Ken Burns effect. So I'm gonna hit split. And so that way this section is the only one that'll have the Ken Burns. See how I've highlighted it yellow. Then I'm gonna go up here to the square and select Ken Burns. And the start one, will automatically always be the size of the video. And then the end one, you can adjust that by clicking on it and then moving it down so that when this section ends, it'll end that close and then hit check. So this is what it'll look like now. That you get on the Hogwarts Express or maybe just sweet treats in general in the wizarding world. I will have all of the details Okay, about you see how that effect works? And let me show you a crop. So right here, I found a section for you guys that I can demonstrate how I sometimes do my crops. And that's where I like crop it in and then crop it in without using the Ken Burns effect. This is so unexpected. I really didn't expect to get something like this. It's practical, usable. I could actually take this because it's practical, usable. I guess it's practical. So right here, I'm going to split practical, usable, I, usable. I, and before it starts with the word usable, I'm going to hit split again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this part just a little bit. So it brings it in. You know, you've seen other people's videos where they do that. This is how that happens. And then with usable, well, usable, I could actually take this. Uh, nope, I accidentally added the time freeze. And that happens to me a lot when I'm trying to do split. I hate it. I hate that they add it right here. But all you have to do is go up here to edit and do undo freeze frame. That's what it is. Sorry, freeze frame. Undo freeze frame and then it's gone. And then hit split again. I got this section highlighted, which is the word where I say usable. And then I'm going to crop it, but I'm going to make the crop even smaller than last time. So that way it looks like it's moving closer, but kind of in a more choppy way. And the Ken Burns is more of a seamless going in. This one's more choppy. This is what it will look like. To get something like this, it's practical, usable. I could actually take this up to work. And that's how you use that effect. That covers all of the crop sections. Now with this one, I don't ever do anything with that. The volume, I don't adjust my volume there. A background noise, ooh, I wish I could do that. Maybe I need to start looking into that. The speed is something that you can do too. You can speed things up or you can slow things down. I do speed up some stuff, especially when I'm doing a cooking video. Speed up the process of me grabbing an item and unboxing it real fast. 
what I would need to do is hit where I want to split because you need to split it. Otherwise you're gonna be ending up making everything fast. That's the start of the speed up. And then I can drag along the top here, which I'm not pressing down. This is just how you drag across. I drag it to here and then I'm gonna split again. Then you go up here to speed and you can go to fast and they do allow you to adjust. Having it go fast just times two basically cuts it in half and then you can go even smaller. This was 9.9 .9 seconds. When you have it times four, it's five seconds and then so on, so on. Times eight made it two and a half seconds and then you can adjust it from there. I'm just gonna show you the times two so that you can get an idea and then watch what happens when you speed up but you keep the volume on. You sound like a chipmunk, or at least I sounded like a chipmunk. That's what happens whenever you keep the volume on when you're doing a speed up. Let me show you what happens when you slow it down and you keep the volume on. Bring it back to normal. The slow is right here. This is what it sounds like whenever you don't remove the volume, but you have it slow. <laughs> Don't you love how they put the little turtle there because it's slow? And when you put it fast, it's the hair. I love that. <laughs> Select, detach audio, and delete audio. That way, when you play through it now, there's no audio. You don't hear the chipmunk and you don't hear the really weird slow voice. You know what I mean? And you want to remove the audio even if you're not talking because even if you're not talking, there's going to be some kind of background noise going on. Typically, whether it's like nature or just house noises. So it's good to just remove the audio of the clips that you want sped up or slowed down. Now for me, I really don't want this section sped up or slowed down. I just did that for y'all's sake, just to show you how to do it. Now it's back to undo split. Now you'll see it still keeps that line there. That just happens. Anytime you slow something down or add a freeze frame, that line is just there and it, it doesn't affect your video because now it'll play just the normal length. All right, next we have a box. What else can I show you guys? The freeze frame. Okay, so there's two ways to get a freeze frame. And since I already have this section pulled up, we're just gonna do it here. So for some reason, either you didn't show something long enough or you wanted something to focus longer on a specific scene. You can just choose a scene like right here and there's two ways to do the freeze frame. There's the accidental way that I do all the time, which you double click and hit add freeze frame. So this is what it looks like now. It looks like it and then it froze inside or you can undo that freeze frame click up here and select freeze frame which will do the same thing like it and then i'm going to undo that because i don't need to keep it that's everything with the time and then you can always adjust more colors and stuff like that if you wanted to those are the main things that i use up here the only other thing that i want to show you up here is whenever you put something on top. And let me upload a picture to show you how that would work. Here's a random Instagram picture that I have. I'll just upload that and drag it down. Oh, it's a video. It still works. It's not gonna be kept in this video, but this is just for instructional purposes. So when I dragged it down, you see that it instantly goes to the center of my screen. Click the video so that it's yellow and then click up here to make sure it's fit click over here to the double rectangles and then you can do the split screen if you want to keep whatever picture or video you have just on one side which i do that a lot in my unboxing videos or you can do picture in a picture which does this and then you can adjust it to the size that you want and then right here every time you do a picture in a picture it always has this automatic fade. I don't typically keep the fade because I have this pop sound. Detach the audio. It'll pop up on the screen and that's why I don't do the fade. It's like it's inside of a candy shop. If you don't use a pop sound, then don't worry about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and remove this as well. And you can adjust this in picture in picture to any size 
any part of your video, just whatever makes sense. Now let me show you the picture. What I'm gonna do for the picture is just select an old thumbnail. Sure, we'll just go with the FabFitFun thumbnail. And this is just any picture that you drag down here. Remember the first thing it'll do, it'll be set to Ken Burns, no matter what. Like all pictures are like that. So you have to click up here on the square, select it to either crop, and you can adjust the part that you wanna show. Say you just wanted to show the Fat Fit Fun, then click reset, and then that's the only part that would show. Or like me, if you wanna do the whole picture, you just hit fit or crop to fill, and crop to fill usually goes to the fit section. The only time it's different is if you're trying to fit a picture that is too big for that space, and then you'll end up with black edges on either top or sides depending on the photo that you used. Over here with the picture, same thing with the video. You can do a cutaway where it completely takes over the screen. You can do green, blue screen. That's very particular. You can do split screen, but when you do split screen with a big photo like that, you won't be able to see everything in the split photo. The only time I'm able to get the entire photo in a split screen is if I have iPhone picture with this one being too big, if I wanted to show the whole thing, but I didn't necessarily want it to take over the entire screen, I would again go to picture in a picture. It automatically does this part with the fade. So I'll leave the fade this time so you can see what it's like. Have it pop up here. Sometimes I will post a picture of a thumbnail in a video to reference a different video. And so that's what this would look like. This looks like it's inside of a candy shop. And that is what the fade part looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I don't need it. I'm gonna delete this media from my vent because I really don't need it at all. There's no point in iMovie like saving all of this stuff if I'm not gonna use it. So I'll just delete both those. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys is this stuff up here. You have the audio and video. Now this is audio sounds that iMovie has for free already built in so you don't have to have a subscription with anybody else to use their music if you don't want to. They have sound effects and they have actual songs that you can use. There's not a huge selection but at least there's something here if you wanted to keep it completely free. This is titles and so this is if you wanted to add in a title. I do this sometimes especially if I'm popping in prices of products or a miss said word. I said a word wrong in a video. You'll see other creators do that too. They'll have the correct word pop up on the screen so that you know that's what they meant to say. So I'm going to drag and drop it here and then it automatically says title. Let's just put Harry Potter and then hit enter and then that's what it looks like when it goes across the screen. So as you hear that fuzziness in the volume, that happens to me sometimes. Usually from what I could tell it's when iMovie is working so hard that it can't keep up with how fast I'm going which unfortunately means that I probably need a new computer. It's not that old and I don't really want to get a new one. I was like Usually after a little bit of time, it will adjust and the little crackling noises will go away. Get a box every three months. I was slightly disappointed with the last quarter's box. So I really hope that this one is better. And that's what it looks like. You can adjust this up here as well. And this is one of the only other things that you can add on top of a picture that's been added. Something I forgot to mention with iMovie, you can't stack multiple things on top of each other. You can only stack one picture on top of a video or one video on top of a video. It won't allow for multiple stackings. The only other layer that it'll allow is extra music and titles, but that's it. Now for the backgrounds, that's something that you can use if you wanted to maybe say you didn't have a decorated end card and you just wanted to put a black, like a standard black end card back here. Just make it five seconds and then you can do the details in YouTube to get all of the, the video recommendations and the subscribe button there. Then there's transitions, and I do use transitions sometimes in my videos. In order to add a transition, you just go to the section you wanna add one and then click and drag it down. And it looks like this. It's in general in the wizarding world. I will have all of the details about this and that is what it would look like. Now I don't need that transition there, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. But these transitions can be fun to play with. These are the only ones that iMovie offers. I know other editing platforms probably offer a lot more, but with this one being free, they do give you a lot to work with, and they've given me so much to work with that I don't really feel the need to go out and buy 
a high quality editing software tool. But that was it for this little tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and easier to follow since I was going through my video process with you. I know it was set up different than other tutorials that even I've seen, but it just felt easier to take you through the process the way that I go through it and then show you some of the other fun things that you can do. Now, of course, you can be really creative with your editing, and that's why I will be sharing editing tips and tricks and editing videos with you guys on this channel because this channel is all about being creative and making YouTube videos is creative. Now, you don't have to do all of the fancy editing that I showed, if it's even considered fancy. I do recommend that you at least edit out the dead space. Make sure that you are editing out areas if you had to walk away from your camera or you got interrupted or something, you know, edit that out or speed up moments because you want to keep your videos interesting from beginning to end so that people aren't clicking off of them. That was it for today's iMovie tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you have any other questions or would like to see anything specific about making YouTube videos in the future, let me know down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.